What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Freshman, back with another tutorial. I know it's been a while. Just trying to get things, you know, set up, you know, life and all that shit. But without a further ado, I'm back. Let's get this tutorial jumping. And we're going to start off with, um, I think today I'm just going to, like, just mix hella samples together. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use one or more different samples and, you know, blend them all together. So let's just go to the drum kit. I'm going to um, go back to the South Side I Invented Trap um, kit, go to the melodies, and I'm just going to listen and just get a vibe. I think I'm gonna go with that one. So the first thing when you're doing this, like when you're trying to mix stuff, you gotta think about it like as if you're making a regular beat. So like when you're making a regular beat, you probably starting off with your chords. So something that's a lot slower, just to give you the foundation. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. I put my tempo to 130 to mesh this. So everything else, I'm gonna just match it up to 130. This is gonna be the main tempo. Uh, let me see what this part is. Yeah, that's just too wild. I don't need all that. So I'm going to just cut all of this. I'm going to just loop that. Let me turn this shit down. Yeah. 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 I'm going to probably, yeah. I'll just do it like that to make a four bar since we're in double time. And then, so when you have a slower, like, kind of melody or chord going on, then you want to have the contrast to it. So something a little bit fast or something, like, really fast. So let's just see how this goes. So I probably want something faster. So let me see. I know I've seen one. So that's that's fast. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that. So this is at 140. The trick to you know matching this up and not having to go through extra shit, just go to 140 on your tempo. Don't worry about the other one getting stretched. You're just trying to get the correct chop for this. So boom, I'm only taking this piece. I did a long way. Erase that. And then we could drop it back to 130. So now that we have the, the actual cut of the measure for that sample, and then we could stretch it. Make sure um, you go close to make sure. Because you don't want nothing to be off. As you can see, there's nothing. There's no like extra like missing space, whatever. So we're gonna play together. Turn this down because you know samples is gonna be super loud. So you see that it's just sounding very messed up and weird, out of tune. This is how so now we're gonna get to the part where we tune it. Go to the pitch. And all you got to do, this is going to really, you're going to have to do this really by air. You know, this is, this is just how, it's, whatever sounds good, you just kind of go with that. But go by the hundreds because, you know, that's like your different note changes. So I could probably be going from like A to C, then D. I mean, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's just going by notes. So let's find the one that matched the first sample. First. Let me distinguish which one is because I kind of lost it. Dun, 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 dun. Turn it down. Turn the other sample down that you're trying to tune so you can actually hear it because when it's all together, it's sounding like they're one and it might kind of, you know, make it harder to, like, identify.
what we could also do is cut back on the stretch to make it only like two bars so it could go a lot faster because it seems like when i had it like all the way to the four bar it kind of was going very slow and the other ones already going slow so like i said you want that contrast so let's try again okay so that might be too fast so <laughs> you know it's trial and error when you um producing don't try to like rush for perfection like you gotta mess around with shit so let's go back to this let's keep messing around with it what i'm gonna have to do is um i'm gonna have to put an eq on this because there's a lot of mud in this one. Actually, it was the other one, but let me just route that. So. I'm going to switch that. I'm going to make, so I'm going to kind of like reverse it. I don't like the tone of the first sample. So let me find a good um tone for, or a good pitch for the second one and then match the first one with the second one. And like I said, it's all trial and error just to like get it correct. So let's just keep going. I like the 200. It sounds creepy. Yeah, yeah, walking up, whoa, making up, oh, all right, fucking around. Now we're going to have to match that one with that. So that one, you know, is it's sounding more in tune, but I'm going to keep um looking for it. But we're going to keep that in mind. So that's about 700. Actually, that sounds um good to me, but let me just check the other ones. So 1,200 and 700 is kind of what I'm looking at. Like, it sounds like it's kind of out of tune, but like I said, when it comes to music, man, it's very subjective. Like, to me, I could still, like, make something, like, that bangs, and especially with trap. Like, you could kind of get crazy with trap. And because trap is not focused on the melodies as much as it is on the um like actual drums. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. That's why you hear some like crazy ass melodies. But then when the drums come, it just hits a lot better, especially with the vocals on top of it. So that's why I said don't get too crazy on tune and shit. Like it's really not that serious as far as like melodies. Obviously, you don't want to get it out of tune. So don't take what I'm saying and try to, you know, twist it in your own way just listen to what i'm saying so 1200 really sounds like the perfect tune for it but 700 got that like Like, I'm going to do both because, honestly, um, 1200 really sounds like it's the right one for it. But I just want to show you guys that the drums really matter. I'm going to just throw in some quick drums and I'm going to show you that, yeah, if it sounds like kind of weird and out of tune, the drums will save it. 
music is subjective, like I said. I'm going to keep saying that because I want you guys to let other producers tell you, oh, nah, do it like this because, you know, that sounds good to them, you know. But like I said, there's a caveat to that. You don't want, like, super out of tune stuff, so. FL20 with this shit, man. I wish if they if FL20 just kept the um FL11 like channel rack, then that would have been awesome. But I ain't really tripping. So I'm gonna just put it in a quick pattern. This is not gonna be the actual beat. Just wanna show you guys. And if you ask him, like, how am I knowing where to put shit? It's just years of experience. Um, And honestly, not even just years of experience. It's really just if you understand the channel rack that and the measure that it's in, like, these are all hidden at 16 notes. Oh, shit. The hi-hats is hidden at 16 notes. And then these are hidden on the threes and the seven. The snares are hidden on the three, the third beat and the seventh beat. So it's just kind of, you know, years of experience and understanding rhythms. And then, like, probably, like, a day or two to understand the function of the channel rack. But it don't have to take you that long if you study rhythms. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. Dun, dun. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Like, put that 808, make that shit go crazy. Oh, yeah. You need an 808 like that. And when it comes to, like, when you're working with samples, you don't have to go to edit and then try to find a pitch for, that, um, for the 808. Like, that's not going to matter cause unless you already know the tune of your, the key of your sample, then you could do that. But... If you don't have the key for your sample, it's not a big deal. Just kind of go by air. So we could bring it up to a, a higher octave so we could hear it better. So always bring it up to a higher octave. Low, low end sounds, bring it to a higher octave at first so you can hear the actual pitch. So F works and just drop it back down. I'm gonna get in that money like that. I'm gonna money like that. Yeah, I'm getting money like that. We gonna drop it um to a lower octave. Yeah, trap it, they my way. Hey, trap it on my hey, hey, trap, trap, boom it, cause I got it in the bank. Hey, trap, trap, boom it, cause I got it in the bank. Hey, trap, trap, boom it. Trap, say boom, hey, nigga, they talking, I'm shooting, hey, know how I'm riding, I'm ruling, hey, got hundred bags in my pocket, hey, run up on me, then I'm popping, hey, run up on me, then I'm popping, hey. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's really focused on the drums. Like, you could tell that, okay, my, the samples are not, like, perfectly tuned, but it works. So now if we try the 1200 one, let me um go to all... Put this at 1200. I might have to change the 808 pitch, but let's see. Yeah, you could just change the um 808s to make it sound better. Like I said, a lot of you guys is going to be, probably be like, well, most some of you guys is going to probably be like, nah, that just don't sound right, which is fine, you feel me? But I know if, you know, if I have it at, like, how I had it before, and then, you know, I get a nice rapper to rap on it and do their thing, and we mix it, because remember, mixing is also another tool that, it's going to just make you perceive this a lot better. Like, I could turn down some stuff. I could put reverb and all this compression to make it sound glued together. So, 
if you could see like further like in the future of what it is right now you know that's that producer mentality because i could man shit hey hey shit hey doing my shit hey yeah i'm getting it lit hey hey i walk in the club with sticks yeah you know who it is hey i pull up some guns shit yeah you know that i'm lit hey hey like this shit will go like <laughs> i don't know what else to tell you guys like with the proper mix man that that's flawless right there but um and you could get crazy too. We could add in another um we could add in another sample. I know I said I wasn't gonna leave it like this, but hey, I don't wanna make this video too long. I just want to show you guys how to like really put samples together and it's really just, you know, matching the tunes and getting the right pitch, finding the contrast melodies. So this for this one, when you're trying to find another one, it's either you're gonna find since this one is a per, like that melody was going pretty fast and the other one is slow, you might want to find a slower one or just a little bit slower than the other. You don't want to kind of go to fast because you don't want too much going on. So let's see what we got here. And you can pan the melody to the left. Walk in the club stick. Yeah, you know who it is. Yeah, pull up in the shit. Yeah, you know I'm lit. Yeah. Like, yeah, panning this made it sound a lot better. Let's see if we can find another one. Something slower. Maybe that, but this might be too slow, but let's see. So we're gonna bring it up to 160. so we could get the perfect chop for it. Make sure it's blue. So. <laughs> All right, then bring it back to 130. And then we gonna stretch it, but I might kind of stretch it back since this one is a bit slower. Oh, that shit was loud. That might be harder. Cause like I said, this one is really slow and this could be like different notes. So some, so just understand this might not work all the time, but a good percentage of the time it will. Just gotta find the right pitch. So that works, but like I noticed with these two notes right here, those those notes could be switched and yeah, I could go all crazy and you know, chop this, like chop those notes individually like this and then make unique, Um, whatever to save it. Fuck. So now that this is its own thing and I could just switch the pitch which I'm just switching the individual notes since it is only one note. So then I could just kind of mess around with that. So, and then just kind of play it in your head. So it's going like, dun, dun, dun. like you could just kind of make your melody out of it now. So it's like, if I wanted to go like, dun, let me find that pitch. Honestly, that shit sounding terrible. <laughs> like that, like me trying to find that last note. 
So 500 might just work, you feel me? Oh, see? Boom. So it went like, dun, dun, dun. Something like that. Hold on. Dun. So it's like, dun, 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 dun. And that's how you can make even variations. So this one could probably even stay the same at the end. Like, And then, um, so we got something like that. Let's do this. Shit. Let's just see how this sounds like. And obviously, this could be a lot better, but like for the sake of this video, I don't want to like get too crazy. If you guys do want me to mix it and so you can see like the actual, like how. It will really sound when it's all mixed and, you know, the proper timing taken in <laughs> to a sense. Then I'll do that for you guys. Just kind of leave a comment below. Let me know that you guys want to see me finish this up and then I'll say that for another video. So let's just play it back. There you have it. That's how you really mix samples together. Like I said, if you guys want me to like really show you like the ending projects, I'll I'll show you guys how to like really mix it to really make it sound more together. But if you like this video, like and subscribe like always. Share with your other producer friends and have a nice day.